The Wild West is filled with stories of gunfights, outlaws, and mysterious deaths. One such mystical figure is Johnny Ringo. Despite his reputation as a dangerous criminal, many questions remain about the events that led to his death. Is it suicide or murder? Who pulled the trigger? At the end of the video, we dive into the mysterious death of Johnny Ringo and attempt to unravel one of the Wild West's most intriguing unsolved mysteries. Johnny Ringo was born in Indiana in 1850, son of Martin and Mary Peters Ringo. He the youngest of five children. His family moved to California during the gold rush, hoping to strike it rich like so many others at the time. However, life was tough for the Ringo family, and Johnny's father died when he was just a young boy. This loss had a profound impact on Ringo's life, and some believe that it contributed to his later criminal activities. As a young man, Ringo struggled to make ends meet. He tried his hand at various jobs, including farming, mining, and even acting, but nothing seemed to stick. It wasn't until he discovered his natural talent with a gun that Ringo found his calling. He quickly gained a reputation as a sharpshooter, and this talent would serve him well in his later criminal activities. Ringo left his mother, brother, and sisters in San Jose, California in 1869 and moved to Mason County, Texas. He befriended former Texas Ranger Scott Cooley, the adopted son of rancher Tim Williamson. Start the life of a criminal. The Mason County War began in Texas in May 1875 after the lynching of two American thieves, Elijah and Pete Backus, by a German mob. The conflict escalated when Tim Williamson was killed by a German farmer, leading to a campaign of terror by Scott Cooley and Johnny Ringo against their rivals. The violence resulted in multiple deaths, including the murder of James Cheney by Ringo and a friend. Cooley and Ringo were eventually jailed for killing Charlie Batter, but escaped with the help of friends. The war ended in November 1876 after about a dozen deaths, leaving Cooley presumed dead and Ringo in prison. Ringo later became a cop in Loyal Valley, Texas, before moving to Arizona. On January 21, 1877, the Mason County Courthouse burned down and the official record of the Mason County War was destroyed. Scott Johnny Ringo arrived in Cochise County, Arizona Territory in 1879, accompanied by his friend Joseph Graves Olney, who used the alias Joe Hill during the Mason County War. In December of that year, Ringo shot Lewis Hancock in a Safford pub when Hancock refused a free glass of whiskey and asked for beer instead. Despite the wound, Hancock survived. After moving to Tombstone, Arizona, Ringo met Sam Purdy, editor of the Tombstone Epitaph. Purdy later recalled a conversation with Ringo, during which Ringo expressed his belief that he would be killed soon. He said that he would definitely be killed like when he was alive. He said he could run for a few more years, and maybe no more than two days Purdy wrote. Ringo's reputation in Tombstone was one of a hot-tempered individual. He may have been involved in robberies and murders committed by the Cochise County Cowboys, a group of loosely related outlaws. Local newspapers sometimes referred to him as Ringgold. In the Cochise County Great Register of 1882, Ringo described himself as a speculator. On January 17, 1882, two famous figures of the Wild West, Johnny Ringo and Doc Holliday, had a heated confrontation that almost led to gunfire. The incident led to their arrest by Tombstone's chief of police, James Flynn, for carrying weapons in town. They were taken into custody and brought before the judge, William H. Stilwell, who fined them both for their offense. However, this was not the end of Ringo's troubles with the law. Judge Stilwell went on to prosecute Ringo for a robbery that had taken place in Galeville. Ringo was eventually recaptured and jailed on May 20, 1882. Historical records indicate that Ringo was suspected by the Earp brothers of being involved in the ambush of Virgil Earp on December 28, 1881. The attack left Virgil disabled for life, and it is believed to have been motivated by the Earps' efforts to clean up the town of Tombstone. 
Additionally, Ringo was also believed to be involved in the murder of Morgan Earp on March 18, 1882. Morgan had been shot and killed while playing billiards in a tombstone pub. Join the team chasing Earps. On March 20, 1882, Wyatt Earp, a U.S. deputy marshal, and his team killed Frank Stilwell in Tucson. The shooting occurred in response to Stilwell's involvement in the ambush of Virgil Earp and the murder of Morgan Earp. After the shooting, Earp and a federal team went after the others responsible for the attacks. Cochise County Sheriff Johnny Bean received a warrant from a Tucson judge for the arrests of Earp and his team, as well as Doc Holliday. Ringo, who represented 19 other men, many of whom were friends of Stilwell and the Cochise County Cowboys, was among those pursued by the law. During the Vendetta ride, Wyatt Earp engaged in a gunfight with Curly Bill Brocious, one of Ringo's best friends. The fight took place at Iron Springs, which is now known as Mescal Springs, located about 20 miles from Tombstone. Earp claimed that a man named Florentino Cruz had confessed to tracking Morgan's murder and identified Ringo, Stilwell, Swilling, and Brocious as Morgan's killers. However, modern research casts doubt on Earp's story. The local team closed in on the federal team at Henry C. Hooker's ranch, but never caught Earp or his attorneys. Former Pima County Sheriff Bob Paul wrote a letter to the citizens of Tucson on March 3, 1898, responding to an earlier statement. The story he told has many mistakes. He claimed that Hooker had told Bean and his team where Earp's team had camped. However, Hooker had actually informed Bean of their location after they had already left in the opposite direction. This period of Wild West history was characterized by violence, lawlessness. The Earp brothers and their team were often at odds with outlaws like Ringo and his associates. The events leading up to the Vendetta Ride were a result of conflict, which played out in towns like Tombstone and Tucson. In the early 1880, Johnny Ringo was a wanted man. He had been implicated in a number of robberies and other illegal activities, and law enforcement was hot on his trail. Ringo spent much of his time on the run, hiding out in remote areas and living off the land. However, Ringo's luck eventually ran out. On July 14, 1882, his body was discovered in Turkey Creek Canyon, near Tombstone, Arizona. He had been shot in the head, and his death was ruled a suicide. The circumstances surrounding Ringo's death have remained a subject of controversy and speculation for more than a century. Some historians have questioned whether Ringo actually committed suicide or whether he was murdered. Wyatt Earp's supposed statement about killing John Ringo in Arizona in July is controversial. The book I Was Married to Wyatt Earp has been discredited as a hoax, and its source remains unknown. However, some argue that Earp had a motive to kill Ringo. Despite, Earp denied the claim in 1896. The truth about Ringo's death remains uncertain. The Doc Holliday theory suggests that he killed Ringo instead of Earp, as popularized in the movie Tombstone. However, court records show that Holliday was in Colorado dealing with theft charges around the time of Ringo's death. Additionally, a newspaper report places him over 600 miles away from the murder scene. Furthermore, Holliday had an arrest warrant in Arizona for another murder, which made it unlikely for him to have been involved in Ringo's death. The Michael O'Rourke theory proposes that itinerant gambler O'Rourke may have killed Ringo in 1882 due to a debt owed to Earp and a grudge against Ringo. However, O'Rourke's last known sighting was in May 1881, and he never appeared in court for murder. While some believe the theory is plausible, others point out that O'Rourke would be unlikely to return to Arizona with a murder warrant out for him. Another theory is that Ringo was killed by outlaw gangs that he had double-crossed or betrayed. This theory is supported by the fact that Ringo was known to have been involved in a number of illegal activities and had a reputation for being untrustworthy. Johnny Ringo's final days were marked by controversy and speculation. The exact circumstances of his death may never be known for certain, but his legacy as a notorious outlaw and character of the Wild West has been and will last forever, until later. 
please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below, so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.